Hi everyone, Dave from Gorilla Painting here with a Mordheim Warband Showcase. Now it's been a number of years since my last video. That doesn't mean I haven't been active on the hobby side. I've been uh, going on a very long, uh, very large Mordheim binge when it comes to collecting. Um, and this is my 14th Warband that I've got fully painted and assembled and ready to go for a campaign that will start eventually. So these guys are the Carnival of Chaos from the Empire in Flames supplement. So this was a really cool project to be working on because um, it let me do um, a whole bunch of green stuff work, which I hadn't done for quite a while, um, as well as use a few different techniques. So first up, we have the Carnival Master here. This is just straight up a um, Nurgle Sorcerer model from uh, Warhammer Fantasy with um, no, no converting work, just... Uh, just tied it up and painted and uh, and weathered. So he's the leader of the warband. Next we have the first of our two brutes. Uh, so the base model for this was a Galapox Infected um, from the Rogue Trader box set. And then uh, as so a head swap with some um, Necromunda um, Cordor head. Um, and then uh, green stuff, the sort of uh, theatrical frills around the top. And we have the second brute. Um, so the legs and torso um, and arms from this model are from Dead Zone. Um, it's one of the uh, plague um, from there. And then it's got a flagellant uh, flail added and then a frostgrave helm. So I'm making a hash of this. So then over this side we've got two tainted ones. So these are also... Also heroes for the warband, um, they are Galapox Infected uh, from the Rogue Trader box um, and they've got um, additional green stuff work um, to do the, the Jester's Mask and stuff. And then we've got three Nurglings, they are from the Forge World Nurgling um, basing set, um, they've just been, just been painted up, um, no conversions there. First of our Brethren. Um, so I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring lately, so I got sort of inspired by the um, the sort of oversized headpiece style, um, which you see there. So this is actually a, um, a door knocker from um, either the original Empire or Mordheim box, uh, which I've just put on the um, Frostgrave Cultist um, to make him. Second Brethren. Similar concept, it's another one of these sort of door reliefs. Um, this is actually a 40k mo cultist model, um, which has got some weapon swaps on them. First of the Plague Bearers. So these guys are really fun to do because Plague Bearers in Carnival and Chaos are supposed to be sort of dressed up as if they're actors in a play. Um, so I added some sort of these uh, Empire style pants to them and gave them a hat um, just to sort of Give them a bit of clothes, so to speak, for the for the play. And the second plague bearer here. Um, it's the model actually really suited itself for this particular style of hat. Um, the blue portion is where the uh, the horn for the plague bearer would have been. Um, so it was just a matter of smoothing that off and then adding the two sides there. And then finally, we have the sort of standard bearer, um, sort of musician of the war band. Um, so he is 40k coldest model with Empire Drum and then a, a backpack standard. So the models with the standards on them, I'm planning on going back and uh, adding in some uh, some text and artwork um, to the books themselves as if they're sort of carrying around uh, signage for the play or it's the sort of script and stuff like that. So this is Warband number 14, The Carnival of Chaos. Thanks for watching guys and hopefully I'll get some more videos up shortly and it won't be five years uh, like it was last time.